I am Dr. Khuram Shokat Yusufzai. Today I am with another vintage and classic car. Uh, this is Fiat 1970 model. Fiat 124 Special. This was brought to Pakistan by Khandawala Motors. And believe me, Pakistan was assembling this car in 1962 to 1972. And Fiat 124 and 125. 125 is the bit longer version of the 124 uh, with uh, four squarish lights. 124 Special uh, is actually available in two versions, which I will tell you a bit later. 124 was the car of the year in Europe, and it had turned the eyes, and it was called the car of the Europe and car of the year. Basically, the history of automobiles starts in 1949 to 1962. It is called the CKD or SKD operations era when cars were assembled in Pakistan since 1949. After 62, in 1963, the era of progressive manufacturing started when Pakistan used to make in-house its own spares and things like uh, the batteries and the seats and uh, different things uh, started and Khandawala Motors was actually Pakistan's first. They made an in-house engine for the CJ5 Jeep. So the petrol engine was made, uh, the first country in the Islamic world was Pakistan, which made the petrol engine. And it also made a diesel engine by another company called the Bedford Company, a general motor company in Pakistan also made the first diesel engine in Pakistan. So, uh, Khandiwala Motors was given Tamgai Khimmat and Nishane Pakistan because it made this uh, four cylinder petrol engine for the CJ5 Jeep, which was actually bought by the Pakistan Army. And they were supplying this Jeep to Pakistan Army. Uh, and Mia Sharif Ahmed got these medals uh, as chairman of Matchless Engineering. So, this was the golden era of development uh, ushered by uh, Ayub Khan. Ayub Khan, Field Marshal Ayub Khan was the first uh, general of, uh, ra rather the second, uh, the first general of Pakistan Army. And he ushered this golden era in cooperation with the US and the Europe. And the golden era of manufacturing, not many people know. Uh, about it and I, I am telling you in this video about uh, this golden era where Pakistan uh, was manufacturing and assembling things. This is Godrej Kandiwala building which served as US Embassy right on the M.A. Jinnah Road uh, in Karachi. You can see the American flag on top of it and at some time the uh, IBA Institute of Business Administration uh, was also situated here when the uh, embassy shifted from here. Uh, in the 62, it used to serve as the Kandewala, uh, the showroom of the Kandewala Motors was at the bottom where this Habib Bank is. And this is the current picture. So the CJ5, CJ6, CJ7 were actually uh, sold from the showroom in this building. Along with the Fiat Motors uh, showroom was also here, where this bank is. Many people in Karachi would recognize this building. The Fiat 124 Special uh, had a T1600 version with 1400cc engine uh, and it had four headlights in the front. And at the back lights were like this. Uh, this had a four wheel disc brakes which was pretty good in 1970 because the Corollas never had it till year 2000 and had intermittent wiper and uh, very special features so much so it used to be called the car of the year in Europe and it spurned auto manufacturing in a lot of countries uh, for example um, you know uh, this uh, Fiat was manufactured in Egypt, in Morocco, in Turkey, and also in India. And we, I would show you that this 124S Specialty 1400 version, which is actually having two headlights around it, 
and the car I'm reviewing is actually this one T1400 version uh, with the round headlights so this version actually had a 1200 cc engine this was also known as Seat 124S in Spain so the Seat uh, European company was also manufacturing this 124 in Spain and in Turkey it used to be called a Tufos Morat 124S and this was manufactured right up till the 80s so the Turkish automobile industry is actually related to Fiat 124 and similar in Russia Lada is also Fiat 124S the T1400 version with the round headlights so Lada's are still being manufactured uh, in Russia and this is the Indian Premier 124S which is of course the Fiat 124 and it has square lights just like the Turkish uh, Murat 124 and I'm with my guest let me introduce my guest uh, what is your name my name is uh, Muhammad Ishaq Muhammad Israr where are you working uh, I am working in Peshawar Ring Road opposite uh, Kia Motors and five star car zone excellent uh, can you tell me uh, what car is this one? Mm, it is a 70 model, named Fiat, yes. uh, 1.8 uh, engine, Atara Saw. Yes, this 1.8 engine is actually modified Toyota engine inside, but it's actually uh, the original Fiat engine is not inside, but uh, there is a Toyota 1.87K engine inside. Uh, how uh, Are you going to sell this car? Yes, I am sell uh, this car uh, 20 lakh demands. So 20 lakh is this demand. If anybody is interested in this uh, vintage classic Fiat car, it's uh, really uh, well painted and the alloy rims are very nice. And uh, I will give you the telephone number of uh, this uh, bargain center below in the description. So you can contact them if you really want to interested in the classic cars because they have many classic cars, also old cars and new cars. So it's pretty interesting. You can find them opposite the Kia Motors uh, on the Ring Road in Peshawar. Yes. Thank you very much uh, for the interview. Thank you. So Fiat 124 started the manufacturing in India, Turkey, Egypt, Morocco, Spain. So why we discontinued this beautiful car, we could have manufactured it right till the 80s and our auto industries could have learned from this best car which we were assembling in the 62s to 72 era. And the government should again uh, give incentives and it was the people of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa who were uh, responsible for uh, this revolution like President of Ayub Khan belongs to Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa and he brought this uh, golden era of automobile manufacturing and in 1949 the GM Motors which is now called Gandhara Motors also belongs to the Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa people and uh, uh, the, the, the talent in Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa in Karachi should be utilized again the policies should be changed so that uh, we could have the manufacturing of uh, cars and also we should manufacture the spare parts because if we are good in spare parts then we can make good cars like still the auto industries is dependent on the spare parts from other like we have not progressed in the manufacturing uh, we, we haven't completed the progressive manufacturing but we are still doing ckd or skd uh, like uh, bringing in the kits and just assembling them so we should progress towards uh, making the headlights the seats the engines the engine components and also the electronics that's how uh, Pakistan uh, can Pakistanis can have a cheaper car and we should learn from India and also from China because they started uh, making spare parts for uh, you know the european american brands the japanese and then when they did that they started making their own brands like tata in india and the chinese cars are now becoming so good 
So Pakistan should concentrate on the spare parts components, also give incentives for people who who can manufacture instead of uh, doing um, assembling CKD. Even uh, we should completely stop the imports of CBU units because imported cars has no benefit because it does not provide any jobs and uh, the manufacturing and the other industries can provide jobs to the people and uh, the, uh, the the people who, who were here the golden era uh, I showed you with this classic car which belongs to that golden era of 1970s I hope you like this video and also subscribe to my channel because without uh, subscription you won't find this uh, lovely videos which we are making and we are also enthusiast and we earn no profit so you have to encourage us by liking the video and also subscribing to our channel so you can find our videos very easily among the uh, so many rubbish videos you will find these good videos i hope you do that thank you very much take care Goodbye.